video retargeting strategies. Guys, today I'm talking about video retargeting strategies and how you can use it in your marketing and your campaigns. Now, the reason why I'm doing this when I'm walking out on the street is because when you're doing video remarketing, what you have the opportunity to do is it's kind of like you're following people around. It's kind of like you're walking down the street behind them, you're seeing what they're doing and that influences what ads they see next. So, as an example, just say now I'm crossing the street. You can identify that behavior and if I cross the street, you can send me a different marketing message, right? If I jump into my car, you send me something different. Every single time someone takes an action, they watch a certain video, they jump into their car, you do something else, right? And so now I'm segmented as someone who's in their car versus who, someone who's on their street. And what that allows you to do is as I take all these actions, you're segmenting, you're tagging me, you're identifying me as someone who's taking that action and you can do something really, really cool. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna head back into the office. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna map out for you a little strategy that you can use with your videos to really, really take it to the next level, especially on Facebook. It's really cool. Let's head back to the office. Gotta pause this. Don't wanna drive and record, that's bad. We'll see you soon. Okay guys, back in the office now. And what I want to talk to you about is onions, right? Not really, but onions, much like your video retargeting strategy, have layers, right? And that's what it's all about. So what you need to think about in your video retargeting strategy is that, yes, very simply, very easy, you can have some basic videos going and you can retarget people, and all we're doing is just identifying people. Right, that's all that retargeting is, is selecting someone going, hey, putting, imagine putting a sticker on them or a poster note and going, you're someone that I wanna follow around. You're someone that I want to be able to see what they're doing and encourage you to take more action. And what we did from that is go, okay, cool. Yes, we can just target people that have watched. Yes, we can just target people that watch our videos, but that's not all that we're about. What we wanna do is we wanna build in something very cool. And that's where we developed our mogul method right and that's the video retargeting strategy really succinctly that we utilize so if you imagine someone cool like Dwayne Johnson right my homeboy the rock he is what we call a or what I call a mogul what I mean by that is he's someone who's very important in the realm of video and that's highly 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 important these days because Sheryl Sandberg the COO of Facebook itself has said that in by 2020, between 80 and 100% of the news feed is going to be video, right? 80 to 100%. That's not a very small portion. That's the majority of it. So I think it's nearly there. Like scroll, go to Facebook, scroll through your news feed and see like there is a lot of video already on there. So if Facebook's identified that, you should identify that as well and be using that as part of your retargeting strategy. So what I like in it too is that really you need to have layers to it you can't just have one like rock just doesn't make one movie right there's layers to it and what we want to have happen is that as these videos go through as these videos are identified um, and people start watching them only if they watch a certain video do they then progress forward what do I mean by that so once you watch a video of mine for a certain portion, not just anyone that watches it, because if you watch it for three seconds, you don't really care about me, right? You have, you go, nah, cool, Kim's okay, but well, I don't really care about what he's got to say. I want someone who's enthralled, engaged, highly, 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 highly interested in what I'm talking about. So what I'll do is anyone that watches past 25%, at least 25% of my videos, I create them as an audience and go, hey, these are people that like my stuff. Right, like people that watch movies of The Rock, they like what he's talking about, right? They can smell what The Rock is cooking, right? So if that is you, and you watch 25% of my video, don't worry, I'm not doing it to you right now, but on Facebook, if you watch 25% of my video, then I'll build an audience. I'll say, cool, all the people that watch at least 25% of this video, at least 25%, fall into this audience. Right, and I call them different things. I call it our demo tape, our big break, and our blockbuster. Being our introduction, where we show our skills, and then where we rock their socks. In simple terms, right? <laughs> so, as you watch my first initial content videos, you see some new stuff, you say, oh, this is interesting stuff that I'm seeing here. 
from that point, you then progress onwards, you then progress down into the next layer, right? Just like cakes and onions and ogres, right? There's layers. As you progress down the layer, you watch more content from it. You see more new things. And then on Facebook, I do the same thing again. If you watch 25% of my level two, right? Level one, two, three, three levels, right? If you watch 25% of my level two, then what happens is I go, oh, you then qualify to see my blockbusters. You then qualify to see my high value, highly produced content. Because you've gone down the layers, you've gone, boom, boom, boom. You've gone down, and you become interactive. You become part of it. And I was like, Ooh, these people here, they are watching my stuff. Then what happens after you watch at least twenty-five percent then of my next video, right? The blockbusters. Then you watch into the big. You watch the big breaks. You've gone into the blockbuster level. Then I show you my ads. Then I run and offer a application, a call, whatever it may be. So I'm the whole way I'm getting people to identify exactly what it is that they want, going through, engaging, watching, watching more, and only the people that watch the most then get to go all the way through and then see an offer from me. That is how we're using video retargeting strategies to allow you to get phenomenal results when it comes to your videos on Facebook. Now guys, as always, make sure you like. If you like this video, comment down below, let me know what you thought, and subscribe so you see these first before anyone else. Until next time. Adiós.